Hi folks, Rich Bassine from RJBassine.com. Just want to give you a little insight on uh, shipping fragile things. Um, I wanted to share this with you and just give you a few little tips and little pointers. Um, what you see over here is this was a challenge for me, I'll be honest with you, um, looking at it. It's one of those little wooden ships, and I was thinking about this when I had up. This has been on, on, the, on, on eBay for quite some time now. And I always thought, I didn't dread the day when it happened. I mean, I wanted it to sell, no doubt. But I said to myself, how am I going to get this to the person in one condition, you know, one, in one piece? Because it is fragile. And you're probably wondering, yeah, how would, how would you do something like that? You can't put packaging here, you, you know. You know, I, I don't, I'm still debating if I'm going to put cardboard, build a cardboard frame around here to protect it. But right now, I call this freestanding packing. And... I mean, as much as I want to put, like if I was thinking of putting cardboard here just to keep it from jostling, which I still might do, this is just to give you a little insight of how I did this here. What I did was I took a box, I, I made a base out of it, okay? A base that's going to go into another box, an oversized box. I know it's crazy. You're going to wait, wait to see the size of this box that's going to go in, but it has to be that way. Look at the size of this box, folks. I mean, this thing is huge. It's a big box. It's 18 by 18 by 24. But you have to have something big like that for the simple reason is when you place this in here, in the box, this has to be mounted in a way where it's not going to move. It's got to, this has to be even stable in the box. So it's got to be like fixed. So you probably wonder, when, how am I going to fix it in the box? When I put it in there, that's going to be another little challenge um, doing that because this can't be loose either. All right, this can't be loose. So I'm going to have to probably a cardboard, I'm gonna do it out of cardboard. Probably made something like post in here or something here where it can be taped to the corners of the box of that box there. So if it does get jostled, it'll stay within that confines of that box. It is a challenge. I call this freestanding packaging because there's nothing here, there's nothing on the sides of it. You, you know, you can't put bubble wrap on here, okay? You, you, if, even if you wrapped it around, it'd be crazy because. You know, if it got jostled around, the bubble wrap, it, it's going to its gonna break these things. Very sensitive pieces here. And you can't take the thing apart because they're glued in. So when I mail this out, it's going to go out today. I'm going to email the buyer and tell the buyer when they get it, inspect it. Please make sure, you know, if you decide you don't want not to throw out the box. And I don't know if they're going to take the extreme care I did if they do decide to send it back. Because I used a whole lot of tape here. Look at this. And I'm still going to probably use a lot of tape. But I just want to give you an idea of how I did it. This, this has to be done like this here for the simple reason is you really can't... I mean, you could probably put cardboard over here. But I'm always afraid of if it, if it hits, if the cardboard, let's say if it, if it wasn't on a base, it would bang, it would crush this stuff up here. And this would get broken. I don't know. I'm going to see. I mean, I might, I might wrap cardboard around it, come out a little and, and wrap cardboard around it, and maybe put two things in it to brace it. But you can't have stuff where it's going to be having a constant pressure on it because, like I said, if it moves this way, let's say I put a cardboard there, I put cardboard this way, right? And I put, like, I make it out of brackets or whatever to support it. If the thing gets jostled, it might push the cardboard into this, and you might break this. So it's a little tricky with that part. I just want to share with you, but I had to make a base, and I took uh, I took a box, a full fresh box, I had no choice, and I did was I folded it, folded it, folded it to make this heavy, okay? I want this to be as heavy as possible. And then I said to myself, the other challenge was I had to measure the base of the boat, the ship, and I made like a little trap door to open up, okay? So when I cut it open, I made it where it opened up like this, and that this would go down, it would submerge into here where the boat would lay right on the bottom, the base of the, the hole of the boat would lay right on the, the bottom. You can't see, it's all taped up. Then I said to myself, well, what am I going to do now to make sure this is really secure in here? If you look in here, in the middle, I put a piece of tape in here too. Over right here. Uh, that's that, uh, cardboard. Okay, and I put it over here and over here without breaking the, the ropes. This is going to be a challenge. Like I said, I'm, I'm hoping that when it gets to the person, the buyer, it gets there in one piece, you know. But now, even though this is secure, I mean, look, you could you could turn this up. So I really shouldn't be doing this. It's pretty scary. <laughs> but you can see it's not going anywhere. You can see, 
It's not going away. And you want it, you, that's what you want. You want it to be really secure in there. Um, but if you ever get something like this, where you, I'm not going to do any more of these either, folks. So, I mean, I'm done with ships. <laughs> I mean, I, I seen another one at the, the thrift store. This is the, the Santa Maria. I seen them at the thrift store and I said, myself, no. One challenge. I was thinking about this when I got my hair, the thing going over for my uh, cell phone. I got that eBay app that you hear it go cha ching. I'm saying to myself, wow. And I looked. I said, oh. The nautical ship sold. They said, oh, now I got to think about what am I going to do. You know, I gotta, I'm, now my mind started. I was thinking about this all last night. It was up to 2 o'clock in the morning. It's 9 o'clock now, Eastern Standard Time over here. I'm in New York. And it's, like I said, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. I had my cup of coffee, and I said to myself, you know what? I got to do it. I can't push so if the buyer pay for it. They're expecting it. And I'm going to hopefully send this out priority. Well, it's got to be a best of that priority because it's tracked and insured. Okay? It's not much. The person that paid much for it. But you gotta understand something, even though the person didn't pay a lot for it, they still can expect this thing to arrive um, in one piece, okay? So uh, I'm probably gonna put more tape around here to just you know, make sure it's even really secure. But my thing is, I know the buyer's probably not gonna watch this. If he does, if the person, he or she does watch it, I would hope they could do one thing. When they cut through the, the tape, and if they decide I don't want it, I would like to have it back the same exact way I sent it to them because if it comes back if it let's say it got forbid it did get broken on you know on the way there and you're gonna send it back to me I need I like to try to get back in one piece and then if that's the case where I am stuck with it I'll just fix it and I guess keep it for myself not that I really need a wooden ship around I like it don't get me wrong but I didn't buy it to keep it you know, if I was gonna buy it to keep it, it would be on eBay I just wanted to share that with you the other thing is too when you have delicate things like this and you can't clean, I try to clean these things up because they're dusty. A little suggestion is, you know the women's cosmetic brushes? See this here? Very gentle, okay? You could just clean dust like that because you don't want to start sitting there, you know, trying to stick big brushes in there or, or whatever. Uh, you use this here, it's, it's easy. You can get between the fine, gentle parts, you know, if you got to clean like around here. Like I, I, This is basically for anything that's gentle, you know, like a, like something that's very delicate. Um, I like to try to clean it up as best I can, but you gotta, I got when you got all these ropes here, you can't get into the, the, the fine spots in here. So the other thing is, my other tip, and this is just for things like this, folks. You're not going to get this. See this here, duster? Air duster. You get the same thing at a Walmart or Micro Center. When you get things you can't get at, like the little steps in there or whatever, that's it. A little quick dusting. That's it. Don't kid yourself. Even though you might say, you might think this is not the, these things are expensive too, some of them. Um, you know, well, I mean, like this could be like $3 a can, $2. It depends for on sale. So you want to use it sparingly. You don't want to go crazy with it and start spraying up everything. Because there's only so much dust you can get off it. I mean, I've already done it. I'm just, I'm just using it. I'm just showing it as an example of what I do when I can't get into the intricate parts in there. Um, you do the best you can when it comes to cleaning. But like I said, that's the other tip you use. And uh, I know they have other big brushes, but you don't want something big. Like, you know, those, you know, girls have those big cosmetic things. Unless you're doing something really big. For the most part, this will do it. And this is to get to, like, you know, like light areas. And you want it to be light. You don't want something to pull. Like, see here, if I was going to clean this, this rope, it's not going to pull and snap the line. But I just wanted to share that with you. The other challenge is going to be, is like I said, um... When I put the base in here, I might have to tape this down somehow to this box. See, so I just want to show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to place this, okay, in this box. You can't put padding around it, okay? So what's going to happen is, I'll see if I can show you this here. I'm doing it on a webcam, so this is what it's going to look like inside there, okay? Now, you can't just leave it like that because, again, you still got the, you're back to square one. Now you say, okay, well... Okay, so you got a base in there, so now if it does get jostled, it's not going to get in. Now, what are you going to do? Suppose the box flips upside. Well, what you do is when you're when you're sending stuff like that out, you draw a line, whatever, and you put two arrows and you write this side up. Okay, that's what you're going to write on all four corners. This side up. You draw two arrows going up. This side. You can make them if you got your computer. You could do it on your on your printer, your laser printer. Tape it up here. This side up. Fragile. Then I got the then I got the things here that you know, the labels fragile handle with care. You make sure they're plastered on the top where they can see what the label is because you don't want this thing flipped side upside down. Now 
That's why it's very important when you're doing this here that that base somehow I got to like I said that's the other challenge. That base you can you don't want to you don't this is not going to get cut. I know sometimes I tell you guys to save on a weight in the packaging to cut the box down. You can't put the top, you know, maybe people say, well, I can just put it right on top of the thing. That's crazy because if that thing falls down, bang, this whole thing is going to crack. So that's the other challenge. What I think I'm going to do to maintain that base on it, to keep it like that from flopping around, what I will probably do is, let me just take it out here again. What I probably will do is, I don't want this to drop. Um, I'll take, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I lost you for a second there. Um, what I would probably do is uh, take cardboard when it's late, where it's, where it's you know staying in there, where it's on the bottom, and make post and tape them on here. So I'm going to have to use another box. But you know what? It's worth it. The buyer gets it, and they're happy with it. That's the main thing. I might have to do is take it there, cardboard on it when it's in the box, and tape it down to where it'll stay firm. An or, well, I'll try in four corners, but at least I definitely have to, which I have to try to definitely get all four, because this is, this has got weight to it. It is a little heavy, this, uh, with the box and the boat, it is a little heavy. So this here is going to be a challenge. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to put a piece of tape here, because I don't like the way that looks, but yeah. But this is what you got going on, folks, okay? I don't want to talk too much about it, but if you have something fragile to send out, you could use this, try to use this technique. You're going to think, you know, you got to think logic with this stuff of you because you always got to say to yourself, what am I going to do to get this here? You can't, you can't package it. Like I said, you can't put bubble wrap around it. I mean, you could if you had a box around it. You know, I still could probably do that. They put a box. But again, you know, wrap it around here, you know, mummify it with cardboard. Um, it's going to make it that much more heavy. But again, you want it when that buyer gets it, it's in one piece because you know, you know darn well. <laughs> They're going to be first ones to complain. And um, I will keep you posted on. This is going to go out today. It is Saturday. It's going to go out. And I hope, I'm hoping I'm going to be really on edge because I want to make sure this is going to get to the, the buyer in one piece. And even though I did what I did, this is a good thing. This is good this way. Like I said, you can see it's not going anywhere. And I just got to, like I said, you know, maintain and, 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 and stick to what I said. Make things where it'll stay to the side. Now I could do is open that box up and cut slits in there and put tape right across here. Tape it right, actually tape this right into the box itself. But I'd have to put slots, I'd have to slot in the box, you know, put, put slits in it. Yeah, I'll show my book about Let me put this over here so it doesn't break. Okay, what I would have to do is measure, that's three inch depth. If I had to measure, what I have to do is put a slit here, right? I know it's a lot of work, believe me, it's not a picnic. Put a slit here. And I'll slit on all four corners and get that box and snake the tape through the inside on that box and come around and then loop like it's it's, it's that's gonna be it. that's another challenge. Because like I said, having the bet having this is one way, you know, having it doing it this way is one way. You say, Well, that's nice, it's freestanding, you don't have to worry about. But in a perfect world, you know, that doesn't, you know, that's that's the way it would be in a perfect world, but we don't live that way, so this is what you gotta do. But um, I just want to share that tip with you. This is how I'm going to send this out. And if you guys or anybody out there in eBay world are selling these type of things, you might want to do something like this. Um, I know it looks a little overkill with all that tape, but you need you need to have this thing really secure. And I'm going to probably put a little more tape on it just to make sure. And like I said, remember what I said with the box. Um, when you're sending this stuff out, right on there, right on the corner, on the top, put two arrows going up and put this side up. Because if this thing gets flipped, well, yet, like I said, it's got to be mounted in there. But if it did, this is done. This is history. Because this base is heavy. I mean, it's got a lot of cardboard in it. I took a box and actually folded, folded, folded. So this was a box, uh, I think, 14 by 14. It was like this size, almost like this size. And I didn't really waste anything. I just folded and folded because I want this base to be solid and heavy. Okay? So that's all I want to share with you guys. And remember the tips I gave you. And uh, also... The other tip I always say is, don't forget these. I, I've done this here before, I think I showed you guys. I have it here for, when I, I put these on my VHSs, do not bend or crush. I know it sounds crazy, it's a hard package, but you never know. And then I have over here, um, 
or if you could zoom in here why is this my webcam's a little crazy today okay and then you got this one over here the ones I make on my uh, laser printer fragile handle with care okay and I probably will put a lot of these on the box on probably all four corners please do not drop or crush now a matter of fact while I'm thinking about it I think I'm gonna make the labels on white paper this side up and put two arrows up there and paste on all four sides you know because like I said you want to make sure that these things get out to the part the buyer in one piece and you want to know something sometimes with all that effort you do sometimes you still have a problem it could something could really happen to it um, I'm not going to mention a carrier but I had a I, I, I use other carriers at times for certain things in fact I could use it for this but I'm going to use the postal service because it gives you tracking them but I remember one time I had a package and I brought it to the carry one of the carriers. I'm not going to mention names, but and I told the person I said this is a fragile thing. I don't know if it was a printer or a monitor, whatever it was. I said these guys are going to be careful with this thing, aren't they? He said, look, I'll be honest with you. He goes, these come off a conveyor belt because they put them on a conveyor belt. It goes, I guess, to the sorting facility. And he says when they come off the conveyor belt, he goes, they drop. I don't know how far they drop down if it's two or three feet, whatever. I don't know something along that line. He said, and. Uh, after I let after I left that carrier, I said to myself, I got to be a little discreet on using them because I'm not gonna. I don't want to take a chance of going and making a concerted effort of boxing this thing up, padding it up, and then something like that happens. Um, for example, my other challenge is gonna be well, not a challenge. I mean, I've done these before, but when it comes to this, this is not on eBay yet, folks. It's it's on my. If you've seen the sneak preview, whatever. This is not on eBay just yet. I got to do a demo on it. This is going to be not a challenge, but I want to make sure when this goes out, it's heavy. This is heavy too. I don't know. This has got to be at least 10 pounds, I would think. It's got. It's heavy. It's got weight to it. This is going to be a challenge, and not, and not the challenge it's so much as far as like you know packaging stuff. But I, I, whenever I get whenever I get stuff like that, I get a little antsy because I want to make sure again that's going to be bubbled wrap. I'll probably wrap uh, cardboard around it. I might be overkilling on it with that shipping on that there, but let me tell you something. Like they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I want to make sure, especially that thing, I want to make sure it's like brand new condition. A little dusty, but brand new condition. And I want to make sure that that gets there in one piece. You know, So I'm going to make sure that gets there. It's got to have really good packaging with it bubble wrap it, whatever you're going to do, but make sure if you're sending something like that, especially with the weight on it, you want to make sure you got that uh, pretty much down to the science with that. You know, stuff like this here, you know, when I send this thing out, this gets wrapped up in bubble wrap, goes in a box, and it's even, even in a box, it gets well padded. And like with the mouse, the mouse and this thing here, well, you know, these, these you just rub bubble wrap around. But again, even when you run the bubble wrap, I do anyway. When I put them in bubble wrap, um, I still put padding around them. So it's like double. I want to make sure, like I said, you want to make sure these things don't get jostled. And I don't, I make a box when I do custom boxes for this. I don't make it where it's like this. I'm not going to put in a little box there. Let me put in a little box to save money. I'll get a box like this size here. Bubble wrap around here, bubble wrap around here. Put it in a box, use paper, whatever, to, you know, fill the voids in there. And I'll send it out that way. Don't try to be cheap because if you do something like that, I mean, you might say, well, with the bubble wrap, it's still protected. But when the buyer gets it, Let's say, look at this, the guy wrapped it together right on top of each other. You know, if this gets jostled, it hits this, it could break in here, whatever. So, you know, it's the little things like that I like to share with you guys. This here, like I said, this this sells. I didn't do this, is going to go on eBay too. I got to do a demo on it. These, I haven't gotten around to it, I've been really busy. But like this here, I got to do a demo. But this is pretty cut and dry. And, you know, I got a nice little size box for it. If I don't, I make one up like I always do. Bubble wrap it, really pack it in good. I mean, getting a lot of response or emails too from people that are saying they're very happy with the packaging, the way I package stuff. This is going to be a challenge. And this, well, I will keep you updated on it. Um, even with that packaging like that, you never know. Something could something can go wrong along the way. You know, uh, who knows? Maybe you might get somebody that's, you know, not careless, but maybe they put it on a flatbed or, you know, they're moving tons of boxes out there. And then you got to hope. Because it's going to be, it's not going to be heavy. That's not going to have like a lot of, it's going to have a thing in it, but there's not going to be anything protecting it per se. So if anybody puts stuff on there and the box crushes it, it's done. You know, I mean, how much packaging could you put in there? I mean, I could put stuff on the top there. So that's what I'm going to have to do too. I'm going to have to do something like that where just on the sides 
where if it does ink and does come on it, it'll protect it. That might be a way to go too. But that's a challenge. It's still a challenge. That I call it freestanding uh, shipping because it is. It's got nothing there right now. But the other challenge might be is I might have to cut another box up and go around it. Um, I might get, I might move. I might build you know put a thing over here, go up this way like that. Um, but see, these are things you got to worry about right here. These are the, these are the things that could snap. So I, I'm gonna think about that there. But I might I might do something like that. I don't know to build something around it. The whole thing is you don't want this to jostle around. And I'd like to know if anybody's got any suggestions out there. If anybody else was shipping something like this, I'd like to know how they would do it. Because don't forget this when this was probably sent or purchased, this wasn't up like this. You know, you can infer this already made. Of course, it's probably all the things are in there and you just glue it together and you string it up and you do it. It's like a little project. But um, this is going to be interesting. And I, like I said, folks, I will keep you posted on it. Um, that's just a little tip I wanted to share with you. Uh, just to rehash what I did, I took a box, I gave it the three inch rule, cut, 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 I folded it, folded it in there, made the, made the base heavy. I measured the base on the ship, I traced that with a pencil, you know, pen. And I cut like a little, made like a little trap door is what I did. I unfolded it, stuck the boat in there, and then I put cardboard in there to hold it in there. That's what you can see in there. So that goes, this, what you don't see is this goes down here and it comes out and you got the tape over, that's what's holding in there. And don't be cheap with the tape. Don't be cheap with it. Just, if you have to use a whole roll. <laughs> because remember one thing too, when you put a lot of effort into something like this, you'll get, it'll show up in your feedback. Um, the buyer will probably tell you, nice packing, excellent packaging, fast shipping, whatever. I'm hoping to get that with this. I hope I don't get anything negative happen and say, oh, I got the thing, it's all bust up and pieces. That would be horrible. But I'm going to probably put another piece of tape right across here just to make it evened up here like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that over here. Just, just a little more rigidity. Okay, folks, that's what you got going on. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry it took a little longer than, you know, than expected. Um, if you like, like I said, if you like what I show you guys, the things I share, the tips I share with the eBay selling or whatever, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you like what you see here, give it a thumbs up. And um, happy selling on eBay, guys. And to all you buyers, don't forget, read your descriptions fully. <laughs> Take care now. Bye-bye. Hi, folks. Rich Bassini from RGBassini.com. Um, I'm just a follow-up on the first video I just did about shipping out that little wooden ship I made. And I remember I was, trying, I was telling you guys how I was going to handle that situation uh, about wrapping a box around it and stuff. So this is, this is what I came up with, and I just want to share it with you. You know, if it'll help, if, if I, I do these things, hopefully it will help you guys out. I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to do any more shipping. <laughs> no, no, thank, no offense, but I'm not doing it. Here's what I came up with, folks. I took another box, all right. I took the base, all right. And what I did was, on that base, I took pieces of cardboard like this. I cut them down. I put slits in the base. It's not no way in the ship. It's not going to damage or anything to the ship because it's three inches thick. The uh, base of it. What I did is I put a little slit here and I slid it in the base of the box. So this here is acting like a bracket. Okay, it's it's holding this. It's holding the the uh, base in here. So what I did is I slid in here in the box. Put I put a piece of tape here. I, I put the cardboard here. Okay, and it's like an L-shaped bracket. Okay, this is how I uh, circumvented that problem. And I did it on all four corners. Now, if you really want to be crazy, you could do the whole thing and do it, uh, you know, put one big sheet in there. But I think this will hold it enough. The, the whole idea is the sort of thing doesn't go flopping around there. But this is what I did. I did it on all four sides. Okay. So what I did. So I think just in case, just in case you know what I'm saying, I put a little slip in a slit in the base of the box. So what I did was I put a piece of cardboard in there. The cardboard wraps in. It's an L shaped. I made it to L shaped. So it's around here somewhere. Okay, but it's holding it in. So in other words, if this thing, this won't fall out. Look, let me show you what's inside here. Okay, there's the ship. See it? There's the ship. It's in there. If you can see that, it's very dark in here. There you go. Webcams, auto lighting here. Okay, that's what you got going on in there. Okay, so now I don't have to worry about the thing flipping and flopping around because look. This is a, this is got this is a box going into a box. Okay, so after this gets packed in here, right? Look at this. Okay, 
It ain't going anywhere. But I'm still gonna put the slide up there. I mean, I'm still gonna do it. And then, whoopsie. And then, this box is gonna go in here. Okay, like this, right? It's a package in here, right? I fold it up. I could put a little paper around the side just to keep this from flopping around, which I'm gonna probably do. And you don't really have to go too crazy with it. Okay? You fold it up, and bingo, that's it. The box is done. Look at this. No moving around. The ship is secure in there. Now, doing it this way, by making that a box around the box, around building it around the frame, it worked out to my advantage. It worked out really good. So now I don't have to worry about this stuff. You don't have to worry. The only thing I said, the only thing I'm going to do around here, is with this here, folks, on this. There is a little play here. I know this is going to probably be a lot. It's going to, I'm going to probably take a little hit on the uh, the shipping cost. But you know what? It's well worth it. Deer is cheap in the long run. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little paper around here, wrap up some paper, just to keep this from moving. Okay? Because you know you want the, the less the less movement the better. But that's the resolution I came up with with that box. I told you I was going to give you an update on it as far as I if I thought about what I was going to do. So this is what we got going on, and um, it works. That's it. So that's what you'd have to do with something like that. Me, now I know what I'm in for. Three boxes to ship that little ship out. That's what it took, three boxes. Um, I'm done with shippers. Yeah, ship, sending out little ships. If you guys want to get involved with something like that, if you know a better way of doing it, where you could send something like that, or you have a, I don't know any other way. I mean, you could sit here and configure things in your head. There's only so many ways to ship an item like that out, unless you take it apart. At first, to be honest with you, I wanted to um, see if I could take the mast off, you know, the, the, the sails, and like, you know, fold them in like that. Honestly, if that was the case, I could put that in one little box, about yay big, wrap cardboard around it, put the padding around it, I wouldn't have to worry about it. I want to go through this. Three boxes. I could just imagine what the weight's going to be, but you know what? It is what it is. And like I said, why I'm going to contact the buyer and let the buyer know that it's on its way. And when he gets, he or she gets it, please unpackage it carefully, save the cardboard, try to, re, you know, I'm going to tell them, please, you try to remember the way, the orientations, the way everything was set in there. And you're going to send it back, send it back. But, you know, that's, that's the deal with that there. And I hope if they send it back to me, and I know how it's going to get sent there, because I, I'm, I'm doing the shipping. But when they send it back to me, I hope they use the same format, because I don't want this thing busted up, like I said, I mean, and then I'm stuck with it. So that's why, and that's the other thing too, in closing, when you're sending stuff out like this here to the buyer, you want to make sure that that item is well, well packaged and sent, you know, with, as far as like, it's going to get to them, you know, without damage, because if it gets them damaged, it's coming back to you damaged and that's it. You're stuck with it then, you know, and, uh, if you got a fireplace you can use for firewood. No, I'm only kidding. Anyway, um, that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So that's the resolution part of it. Uh, I remember my first video I was trying, thinking in my head what was I going to do? Wrap cardboard? Well, I did. Actually, I did a, a box within a box. So that's how you could circumvent that. If you guys have any ideas out there how to do it better, more efficient, cheaper, please share it with me. Put it in the comments and say, you know, hey, Rich, you could have done a lot. You could have done it this way. It'll have cost you a lot less. I don't know how else to share it out, to send that out, ship it out like that. Because like I said, it's fragile. It's got the sails in there and the mass and stuff like that. I don't know any other way to do it. I think that was, to me, that's the best way to do it. Okay. Um, I like, just in closing really quick, I do make, I did make a couple of videos on making custom boxes. Okay. I had to make that custom base, like I said, I had to think about it. It was a rehearsing in my head, I was gonna send that thing out. And, uh, you know, I thought about it. What am I gonna do with this thing? I'm gonna make a little base with it, I'm gonna send it in, you know, I'm gonna put cardboard wrapped around it. I was sitting here trying to think of ways to do it. And uh, that was the best resolution. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna probably be costly on the uh, shipping, but um, I know for the future, I'm not doing that anymore, no more ships. Because this is, I would have to use the same format. And I know myself, if I want stuff like that to go out perfectly, like, you know, to get them shipped out properly, that's the, what I would go through. And I, I'm, I'm done with that part. Um, but anyway, I'm sorry again for taking the time up. Again, I hope this helps. And uh, if you like it, you know, give me a thumbs up on it. If you like my channel, subscribe to my channel. If I come across any other tips on how to save money on uh, shipping stuff out or whatever I could share with you guys uh, with eBay selling and uh, stuff tips for both the sellers and the buyers. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Bye now.